So I'm going to go back to my model. I'm going to change a couple of things here. I would like to add a, if I go back up, I added a number, didn't add the name. Okay, now I have an item name. I'd like to make my description mandatory as well as my item name. And now that we have created this model, I'd like to create some business rules that are going to help us in define this model in different ways for us as we pick different rules. So what I do is over here, on the bottom side, I can go into my rules. And obviously, you're going to want to create a set of folders here, just like you would on your file system, to be able to manage your multi-structure levels of uh, rules here, so you have them um, well marked, identified, and so it's easy for you to maintain. So for the for for this example here, this one could be calculations. And for this one could be price, for example. So you could put all of your price calculation rules within that folder, for example. Well, for this last group, I'm going to call this constraints. And I'm going to start a new rule. Right click, new rule. For this new rule, what I'd like for this to be is I'd like to set my material to aluminum when my model is a light model. So I'm going to say here my rule name is going to be model light default material. That's the name of my rule. And then I have two parts to it. A condition, which is when. When is this going to happen? And then I have an implication, which is what what's going to happen when that condition is met. So if I may write here, I'd like for my when to be when my model is equals light, I'd like for my material to be equals aluminum. So how do I do this? Well, if you are a expert user of Econ, you can just come here and write in the rules based on what you already know. Or we have this expression builder here on the side, which we have multiple different functions, a lot of different, different options here for you. You have uh, different sets here that uh, you can use to create your different business rules. In this case here, what we need is a comparison. So if I come in here to my condition and I copy that comparison over, it puts in for me my expression that I can start building this rule off of. Notice here on the bottom side, the system is already telling me that there is an error here on this rule, which is a good thing. We know that we haven't completed this rule yet. We're just starting to build it. And hopefully, as I build this rule, and if I build it right, those arrows will go away. So this is real-time error reporting here so that you can get it right. So now I have copied over from my expression builder the uh, expression to compare two items. How do I continue? Well, we have this object explorer here on the left side. If I click that, what I can see are my levels that I have just created already in my model. So I can easily go, okay, my rule is when model equals light. So if I go into my model, I drag and drop that over my expression, and under my model I have my options, and light is one of them. So when my model is light, what I'd like to happen is for the material we can just drag over there, equals, and I'll check the option for aluminum. So when my model is light, 
I'd like for material to be aluminium. So let's let's try that out. If I go back over here and browse. Okay, so now I have my model and what I've defined on my rule is that when my model is light, my material should be automatically aluminium. So let's try that out, light. And there you have the material set to aluminium automatically based on the rule we just created. So great, this works. I'm going to close out of that and I'm going to create another rule. My new rule, I'd like for it to be talking about the color number. So we talked about the color number here. What I'd like for this to do is when my color is equal special, I like for this color number to be visible. Otherwise, I don't want that color number to be visible at all. So first I'm going to go to my properties for the color number and I'm going to say visible is false. And then I'm going to create a rule and I'm going to call this rule color number visibility and my condition is going to be to go back to my expression I'm going to copy that over my condition is going to be when my color is special and now something special here about my properties over here is that my color number is right here. If I open that up, you might have noticed already, but I have a whole section of properties of that particular variable. So here I have a property called visible. If I drag that over, it brings in my whole expression saying if color is special, color number at visible is true. So what this is saying is that if my color is selected to be special, I'd like for my color number to be visible. So let's try that out. All right, and here we have it. So the first rule that we put in place was when the model was light for the material to be aluminum. The second one was around the color and color number. Notice now that color number is no longer displaying automatically because I set the visibility to false. So it's not visible. But with our business rule here, we say that if I choose the color special, my color number is now visible. So now I've created a model leveraging a couple of different rules to be able to modify and create some constraints about different models. And in terms of the color, I've changed this dynamic form to include another field when the color is special.